What's going on everybody, Physio Trader? Let's do just a quick trade recap for the day, walking away uh, around 150 on the day, 90, 92 uh, before commissions, around 80 bucks uh, after commissions. However, uh, let's just talk about these. So uh, two uh, tickers for the day, started off with Tesla, this thing gapped down and uh, was just going a little bit further down. Um, started off with a short, a short play. Let me see if I can kind of just make this a little more desirable to look at. It's like the only thing I don't like about Lightspeed is like the charts are great. They're just slow to move if you want to like look back in time. That's why I like to use Weeble when I'm doing some chart reviewing. Um, doesn't look like much because of the way it's stretched out here. Um, but so essentially Tesla here at gap down and following the gap down, I was looking for a place for it to settle. Um, and then I found some strength coming into VWAP. And then on the turn of VWAP, uh, this is two minute, or, or no, this is a one minute. Um, and I actually just, I, I got filled. I think I put my order in at 659. And um, I got filled pretty low. I mean, this thing just fell quick, which was kind of disappointing. It did bounce against me. I, I was looking for, my stop was going to be above uh, 681.30. Never hit that. And then I took, um, you know, so I, I covered probably a little too quick, but I did cover for about a dollar move in my favor. So just starting small or maintaining small size for a while. I think I'm going to do this for the next couple weeks, maybe a couple months. That's okay. Uh, I'm really focusing on, on managing my strategy, especially in light speed because I was, um, you know, using just bigger size overall. Not that the size is killing me, but the, the, uh, the commissions were adding up to have, you know, great results on the day, you know, but then lose 50, 60 bucks a day in commissions was just uh, not fun. And when you're making less than a thousand in that day, you don't want to lose too much to commissions. Uh, and also, you know, I'm spending a lot of my time focusing on options. Now, I don't do any options, or at least at this time, with Lightspeed, that's that's on the menu. I think I will do it eventually, um, just because I do just, I, I love how fast and, and responsive Lightspeed is. Uh, now, with that said, uh, Turned it over to uh, Neo, and so started off with Neo. I was buying. Uh, I thought that we were going to have some uh, bottoming out here. The spy was helping me, and then this thing just kept going down. Took a small loss. Took you know just a uh, started off with a or a hundred shares. I wasn't too confident in it, and I'm glad I started off with a small uh, position size. My traditional opening allotment with Neo is always around 400. Actually, most of my uh, size is just a 400 starting position. Um, but it didn't go my way, and so this this uh, eleven dollar loss would have been you know just under fifty. So uh, not mad about that at all. We had some strength, and then I shorted it um, again for two hundred at that point, and then uh, scaled out, and then I got stopped out for the last um, uh, fifty right here. So um, I was I was in the process of moving this down. It did beat up, and then it finally fell back down. And I don't really know what else. Uh, Neo did after that. So, um, so, oh yeah, so there, it went down a little bit and then it, it came back up. Was out there treating a couple patients. Um, well, that's interesting. It's a nice looking uh, candle day. So, um, I was actually getting ready to open up the uh, open up the chart to do this little trade cap, uh, this recap video, and then I started to see all this downward push. And decided, hey, you know what? Let's uh, let's do a small trade. So as you can see here, just did these trades not too long ago. Uh, as you can see, I got terrible entries, but I was looking for a bounce. I thought that this uh, this line right here, around 642.45, was going to hold. It did not, and then I was just lowering uh, dollar cost averaging down because my stop was actually 640. Um, then I finally got some strength. Volume's kind of slowing down on me, so I wasn't too happy about that. Uh, but now we've got ourselves a big grandma number here and it just goes right through it. So um, very nice, very, very nice. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful, I actually do want to trade it. Um, no, I can't, I got I got other things to do. I actually got to make a phone, a phone call. So that's kind of disappointing right here on the, uh, it's uh, sitting around 16 on the RSI 5. Uh, or on the five minute, the RSI um, has been oversold. Um, look at that, you just get 200 shares, you would have made a nice $200 move right there. Um, 
So anyway, that is going to call it for me for the day. I don't have my other chart pulled up with Schwab to go through my um, to go through my option trades, but essentially what it was was right here this motion or this candle right after I got this shut the computer down or shut the light speed down opened up uh, Schwab and then I just played some puts down here for the break of 647 and then I captured just around an $80 move just one contract uh, now again in, in hindsight I should have just you know went five contracts or ten contracts but um, not at all upset about it so that's gonna do it for me that's gonna wrap it up um, if you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. Please uh, like this video if, if this was enjoyable to you, or if you like these types of videos. You know, please. The easiest way to you know display that or relay that message to me is just like the video, um, share, or and, and also if you have not already done so, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thank you so so much for watching.